Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Foolery, and today we're taking a look at the Drax and Moon Dragon 2 pack. Is this father and daughter combo worth the money? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, so after many, many requests, we are going to try doing a couple of reviews without Mr. Sockle's lovely, lovely puppet hands. So let's take a look at Moon Dragon and Drax, Guardians of the Galaxies, Guardians of the Galaxy. Why is it galaxies? I mean, there are technically more than one. We are getting sidetracked. I was partly excited for this, didn't really care for Moon Dragon, but I really liked this idea of this version of Drax. We have only been getting the movie version, so it was really cool to get a comic book version of Drax, especially the pre-movie comic book version because they love the Dave Bautista looking one. So I'm really excited for this. So let's crack this box open and see if it's worthwhile. But first, let's see if this box is better than your mom's. This box on the front we get a cool render of Drax and Moon Dragon. We get comic book of Moon Dragon and Drax, which is a really cool picture in the back. On the side we get the same comic book photos, well the same comic book drawings of Moon Dragon and Drax. I really do like that drawing. Another render showing us what's in the box on the back and more renders on the side. And this box is trash and I'm so glad that the, they died because even though I do complain about the lack of artwork on the uh, window boxes that we've been getting recently, at least they have more than one piece of artwork or at least they put it in a cool way. This is kind of just here, look at the renders because you can't see the toy. Anyway, let's crack the box open and see. And oh, what's in the box? So out the box, we have of course, Drax and Moon Dragon. And my Drax is leaning and rocking with it. We get two additional hands for Drax, some wrestling hands, gripping hands. We get an additional head for Drax. Pretty cool looking. And we get magic spell casting hands for Moon Dragon. So that's what we get in the box. I do appreciate the alternative head for Drax and the hands, but I wish we got some effects with Moon Dragon, but really can't be that choosy with this. this is actually a fairly decent amount of accessories. Mills probably would have winged you, not shot you full on in the head because it's not so bad. Let's check out the design and see if these things look like they're supposed to. And Drax is a big boy, so let's get his hips in place. And I really do like the design of Drax. Um, you look at his face, I'm gonna have to bend your legs, there we go. We look at his face and you get some really good detail on his face. Uh, I'm not sure if this face is reused, it's probably not, but I don't like the way the skull cap is put on him. It looks like I could peel it off. They probably should have sculpted it into one piece. I don't know why they didn't. They probably they just did a, a green sculpt for his head and then put a plastic cap that matched the rest of the clothes on here. I'm pretty sure this, I know this body is reused. It looks like, um, what was the uh, Ad Puffer body, which they've been using a lot lately for their really big guys. Um, I can't reach my Ad Puffer because my room is a mess, but he looks like Ad Puffer. If I'm wrong, guys, let me know down in the comments. I might very well be wrong, but looks like Ad Puffer's body. Um, but I do appreciate the size they gave him. Like I said, we're so used to the Dave Batista version that we have not gotten a proper Drax. And we have this awesome body. I don't like his cape, but it's fine do like the the skull the detail and skull is really really good um cool let's check out moon dragon 
and it's basically a I don't know whose face they use but I am not a fan of this face this is a really weird sculpt and maybe it's because she's bald that they, it doesn't matter but it just looks a little bit off like they didn't sculpt her head to be bald like it looks like they took a, a toy they already had hair for and just filled in the spots where the hair gets glued into but the, design wise it looks like moon dragon but and they did a really shoddy job putting this moon on her wherever they got this cape from did a really shoddy job putting the moon on her insignia in the middle so both of them eh and I really hate they have to stop putting capes on toys that don't have diaphragms because when they don't and you try to set it back it pulls it pulls out their chest revealing that lovely gap but let's see if these things can squat and two and three and four and so she has single jointed elbows fun times does she have a bicep swivel she doesn't have a bicep swivel no butterfly joints she can go up this high she can rotate so she can flex but she cannot get into a proper squatting position it's gonna it's gonna be tight Eh. good head movement blocked a little bit by the cape but not much can look down that much decent no hip movement upper diaphragm movement but like i said the cape hinders her diaphragm movement she does have pinless double jointed knees and an upper boot cut and a swivel pivot and hinge on her foot so in theory without the cape she should be able to get into a decent squat position not really but close enough close enough for police work and her cape is holding her up. The problem that you're gonna have is that you won't be able to get her in superhero pose because she does not have a lower diaphragm, no hip movement whatsoever. So you can get her doing her Shawn Michaels, her best Shawn Michaels impression, but nothing else. Eh, not bad, but I really, oh wow. You know what, I just looked at the colors and the body type. If you can get a better upper torso, you might be able to use this for um, a marrow uh, custom because this portion right here, definitely from here down, definitely marrow. Probably pop off the arms and put someone else in or paint them. But no, nah, not, not a fan of this Moon Dragon. I wasn't a fan of the character in general, but this toy didn't help me just say, oh, you know, I need to go find out more about her. And for Drax, like the puff adder you're not going to get much motion out of him but he he is a big beefy boy so you weren't expecting that much but he does have a bicep swivel single jointed elbows does have swivel in his wrist even though not much because it's hindered by the uh bands he has a diaphragm rocker so you get some motion there upper thigh cut double jointed knees no boot cut and the knee is spriting me don't want to break it and swivel hinge on the foot so once again another person can get into a squat position because he has the knees and the legs for it but he's not going to get into a superhero pose because even though he has some hip articulation he does not have the full motion and the cape is holding him up. He does not have the full motion to get him into a better superhero landing position. So you can get him to halfway decent. Looks, you can get him looking cool, but not the greatest. This is actually really decent posability for him and the cape is not holding him up in this photo. This is just him sitting there. Anyway. Final part, money. I'm spending more fail money than I'm getting tail money. I believe when this first came out, it was going for uh, $50 or $48, something like that. Now it's on discount at Hasbro Pulse. And is it worth getting it for discounts? If you love Drax, absolutely. 
is Drax is a recent, a really decent figure, but for Moon Dragon and Drax, no, it's not worth it at all. I'm not a fan of Moon Dragon, and even though I really do like this version of Drax, I'm starting to get tough, uh, getting tired of the puff adder body. So I'm going to say this is a pass. Wait till it's even cheaper, or if you want to see if we can get Drax on the secondary market from someone else. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.